Montana Stonefly Nymph. Step 1. This is a number 6, 2 extra long nymph for streamer hook and some black 6 aught thread. I'm going to make sure we cover the entire hook shank. Step 2. Now what we're going to do is take some .02 lead and weight the front half of the fly towards the eye of the hook. And you want to cover probably one half to two thirds of the body with lead. And that just helps uh, weight the fly as well as bulk up the front to give it a bit of a nicer taper. Make sure you get both ends of the lead nice and flat and tight to the body. Now come in with your thread and cover up that lead again so it doesn't uh, leak through and discolor the fly's body once you've done, done your dubbing or your wrapping of yarn or chenille. Step 3. And for the tail, we're just going to grab some uh, chunk of black saddle or neck hackle and tie that in about the distance of the hook gap, slightly longer maybe. Tied in right on top of the hook, to keep all the fibers pointing directly back. Nice and neat to where the hook bends. Step four. Now for the body, we're gonna use some black chenille. I believe medium's the size we're gonna use here, just to match the hook we're using. Peel off all the fibers right to the core so you're not tying in a big clump of fibers. Work your way back to about two-thirds of the way to the hook. This is about where the body's going to end. You're snugging that chenille in pretty tight to each wrap, are you? Yeah, wrap them very close together. It gives you a nice even body. Mm -hmm. No gaps. Work your thread through right to the core of the chenille. Step 5. Next we're going to tie in the wing case where we've used uh, two strands of chenille for this. And again, peel off the uh, fibers so you're right down to the core. You're not creating a big lump. Make sure they're butted right up against the body. Step 6. And for the legs on this, we're going to take a, a brown or a black hackle and uh, snip off the tip and tie it in with the top or shiny side of the feather facing us. Step 7. And now we're going to tie in a piece of uh, yellow chenille, again stripping to the core, tying in just the core of the uh, chenille. And wrap these very close together, that way we get some, some bulk under the wing case. Work your thread through the chenille to get right to the core. Snip it off. Clean it up. Step 8. Now we're going to take and uh, wind forward our legs. Bomber that hackle right through the uh, yellow chenille. Three turns is all we really want in this. We don't want to make uh, really bulky, thick legs for this fly. Snip that off clean. And you can come in and uh, clip the top of this, and it this helps from clumping all the legs out the side of the wing case. Step 9. We're going to pull over the wing case, our two strands of chenille. And here it's important that we wind right through those fibers, because we're going to try and keep a small head on the fly. The more fibers you tie down, the more likely the chenille is to come loose later. That's why you're shaking the thread around as you're pulling out there. Exactly. Why give the thread a bit of a shake to get it right down to the base. Step 10. Here you have it. You just whip finish and uh, fly's complete. This fly in brown and orange also works quite well. It's mainly a river type fly? It is. It can also be used in the lake, but generally a river fly.